So this dream took place in March earlier this year, and in my dream, it is the end of the world again. And while the world is ending outside, I am wandering around inside a complex that houses a museum, a zoo, and an arboretum. And I'm on the first floor, which is the science museum, observing my surroundings. A gorilla habitat is on the second floor, where I see a fenced-in balcony running around the museum. And although we are inside, um, there is a huge mound of dirt in front of me that leads up to the second floor, up to the balcony. And there's a dirt path, a dirt path on that mound of dirt that goes that you can walk up to get to the second floor. And then on the second floor, I see a hallway, and in the hallway is another mound of dirt. And it's much steeper and it leads up much higher to where I can't see, but I see trees and it actually leads up to a rainforest. So I hope I explained that well enough. Um, anyway, I sense it's dangerous to venture up to the second floor, but I actually really need to find Jack Nicholson and I feel that he is up there, so I need to be careful. And after scanning the balcony for signs of Jack, I finally see him sitting in a rocking chair on the balcony. And he's all scruffy looking, like he hasn't shaved in weeks. And now that I have located Jack, I need to find Bill Nye, the science guy. And I do not recall any reason why I was searching for these two. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, <laughs> I'm looking for Bill Nye. I search the museum, and I'm going through various exhibits. And an employee comes up to me and says he'll help me find Bill. So I follow him. I eventually notice he's leading me in circles and I become suspicious, especially when he leads me down a section of the museum that's under construction, where there are no people, and I finally choose to trust my instincts and turn around. In walking back, I notice the only food around consists of fast food, stands uh, selling hamburgers and hot dogs. And actually, this is a common theme in my apocalyptic dreams. In the post-apocalypse, there will be nothing but fried food. Which basically means I'll starve and die because I don't like fried food. And actually, I can recall there's a, a lot of dreams where it's french fries. I don't know why, but that's, that's, that's what's going to happen if apocalypse comes. We'll all have fried food and probably get fat. <laughs> anyway, I walk into a room off the main hallway. Standing within a baby pool is a blue elephant blowing bubbles out of its trunk. And the elephant is all roped off. And what this exhibit is demonstrating, I really don't know. But the bubbles, as they float up to the ceiling, I notice they're fi filled with tiny paper cutout people. And the little cutout people are moving and they seem alive. And actually, they remind me of the, the cotton leaf fairy cutouts. Um, those photos of the staged uh, fairies those little, little girls took. Um, I'm sure you've heard of them. But um, that's what they look like. And the bubbles, when they get to the ceiling, they start to spin really fast until they become a blur and the bubbles explode, sending, sending glitter and sequin hearts and gold star stickers into the air, which fall to the ground. And a star sticker lands on my face, and I pluck it off, and it turns black with blue veins, and it starts to beat like a heart. And then it turns back into a little cutout person, and then, which floats back to the elephant and jumps into the baby pool. So, I go back out into the hallway of the science museum and I hear a commotion up on the, on the balcony and I look up there and there are two gorillas, they have Jack Nicholson by the arms and are escorting him up the hill in the hallway that leads up to the rainforest. And as they drag him, Jack is kicking and swearing and spitting on them. And that was the end of that crazy dream. Um, and my dreams aren't always that weird and vivid and random. Um, I do have a lot of mundane, boring dreams, but eventually, sometimes I'll have really interesting, crazy dreams like that. Um, that really make no sense, but anyway. So next, um, there's a man standing in front of me. And he says to me, kill yourself. And he takes, his, he takes a samurai sword and props it up. Then he falls onto it, and the sword goes through his stomach, and he slides down to the hill. Unlike the man, I do not kill myself, I only watch him bleed all over the floor. And so next, I'm on a boat, like Noah's Ark, which is suspended from the ceiling, rocking back and forth, like the pirate ship ride at fairs and amusement parks, but of course it's bigger. 
The boat is only tied to the ceiling with a piece of string, and I fear it will break, and the boat will fall and kill everyone. But there's something even more terrifying than this on this boat. Miley Cyrus is on the boat singing. And luckily, that's when I wake up. <laughs> not that I have anything against her, but not a fan, really. So, anyway, that is it.